Presented by Sprite, the 2K pregame show. It is indeed the NBA season. Welcome to the All-Star Game on 2K Sports. Along with Shaquille O'Neal, I'm Ernie Johnson. Tonight, it'll be the West All-Stars up against the East All-Stars. And even though today won't count in the standings, still such an exciting day in the NBA. And both teams are up for this one. Hey, Shaq, you were born and raised in Newark, New Jersey, correct? Yes, the Brick City, Ernie, that's what they call it. Um, so I guess that's where you learned to shoot free throws. Oh, low blow, low blow, low blow. Hey, what are some of your memories growing up around there? Well, you know, I just used to go outside and, you know, it was about dreaming and cultivating the dreams. I always wanted to be like the great Dr. J, and one day my father... Philip Harrison pulled me to the side and said, nope, you can't be Dr. J, you have to be better than Dr. J. And I looked at him like he was crazy. When's the first time you ever thought going into the Hall of Fame was a possibility? 
Is it still a possibility? Well, I think uh, I think you have a chance, Shaq. I really do. Well, hopefully I will, Ernie. Well, so let's not get uh, too far ahead of ourselves. Exactly. But count on it. Uh, let's go to Kevin Harlan. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's broadcast of the NBA All-Star Game. Alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr, this is Kevin Harlan. Well, we know basketball is a game that's all about team success and team achievement, even here in the NBA. But this game, the All-Star Game, gives a nod to the great individual talents this league has to offer. Yeah, a lot of fun to watch, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah, it is, and it gives these players that spotlight and recognition that they so rightfully deserve, thanks to their terrific play during the regular season, and, of course, their important contributions to their teams. All right, let's set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. On the floor for the West All-Stars, we've got Durant. Ryan is out there with Steph Curry. Then it's Anthony Davis, and it's Gasol. And at the pivot spot, Manning the middle. Well, it never gets old to see the incredible talent on display here at All-Star Weekend. Yep. And this year is no different. Well, pretty much all of the events are a lot of fun to watch. And uh, it's a combination of tremendous skill and entertainment. You can't beat it. And a nice shot by Bryant. Kobe Bryant, an All-Star for 17 straight seasons. A four-time All-Star Game MVP. Tied for the record with the great Bob Pettit. The All-Star festivity is always a big draw for VIPs, stars, and celebrities. And I see quite a few in the house tonight. Yeah, really a festive atmosphere around this event and this weekend. There's just so much going on, both on and off the court. You know, I think one thing that makes the All-Star game so special is just the history involved. This event has been held since 1951. And a lot of those legends of the NBA past are here in attendance. And Gasol gets it to go. And we're seeing right here, the defense is definitely optional. Yeah, and we're seeing which option the players are taking. <laughs> That's good from Jefferson on the assist by Lowry. Jefferson's got his second bucket of the night. And when the players step out on the court, you know, Steve, they know that they're writing their names in the pages of history. Yeah, they're, they're really making their mark on this Sunday night. But at the same time, they've just got to focus on playing the game. And uh, sometimes you get caught up in the atmosphere and, and the moment. Uh, but for these players, it's all about just focusing on the game and, and trying to enjoy themselves. And Davis can't get it to go. You can see how much the defense respects him. I mean, they were all over him on that look. Let's it go from 14. Kobe kicks to Durant. That's in, coming off an assist from Bryant. Well, the All-Star Game D is in full effect. They typically clamp it down in the second half. Wade passes to Jefferson. Back to Wade. Davis with the block, and they get it back. Kicks to Durant. Pulls up for three, and he gets it to go. Durant's got five. Looked like the defense was totally scattered on that fast break. Nice job taking advantage there with the wide open three. Jefferson setting the pick for Lowry. LeBron dishes to Lowry. Inside to Jefferson. It's rebounded by the West. Moments ago, our Doris Burke had a chance to catch up with the coach, Frank Vogel. Doris? Coach joked about how he planned for this game. He said that he took a look at the roster of the other conference and realized that there is no way to plan for all the talent and superstars on the other side of the ball, saying, if I had to actually try and stop them from scoring, I might lose my mind. We don't want to see that, guys. And thanks for that story, Doris. You know, he was smart to draw his man out to the perimeter. He's giving up too much size to be effective inside. Agreed. As long as he picks his spots, his outside shot will be hard to block, no matter who's on it. And Durant, here we go. And Jefferson sends it back. I think we've seen the defensive intensity start to ramp up a little bit. Yeah, I think so, Steve. A little more effort here as the game has progressed. It is so hard to contain it. He just seems to get it done however he has to do it. Here's Kobe following the basket by LeBron James. 
Here's Gasol. Goes back up, and the layup is good. Gasol's got his second bucket. And the points coming in bunches, defense and afterthought. It's like a pickup game, Clark. I mean, these are always shootouts. And it's Lowry penetrating. The rebound by Gasol. Gasol's got three rebounds now in this one. Here's Durant, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Kevin Durant has set the bar pretty high with his scoring in All-Star game. He has averaged 30 points a game in his five appearances. And that's good for number one in the history of the game. And Durant, guys, not shy about slinging him up 38 points on 27 field goal attempts in last year's game. Yeah, kind of felt like he was gunning for that MVP trophy. But uh, the big thing with Durant, like LeBron, they love the All-Star game. They love to, to, to compete and play against the best guys in the league. They're not looking for a night off. They're, they're looking to showcase their skills. Now here is Lowry. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Lowry. Free throw drops for Kyle Lowry. The West All-Stars making a switch here. Hayward's checked in. And Kyle Lowry drops them both. He's a dead eye at the line, fellas. Just call him automatic. He doesn't miss many of those. Outside Westbrook. Lillard is screen on Lowry. Westbrook with it. Wade picks him up. Nobody near Lillard. No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. Outside Lowry. He's looking for love and finds him. Left side, love. And that one's good. Love's got his second bucket of the night. Great job there, recognizing the mismatch and taking advantage. They got to put a bigger guy on him, otherwise he'll bury those jumpers all game. Hayward is screen on Lowry. Lillard, and that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. And these two teams continuing to trade blows like heavyweights in the middle of the ring. So many times tonight, the energy in this building has gone from one way to the other. Here are the East All-Stars. They trail by one. Lowry kicks to Love. Uses the glass to finish the way. Love's got six. Westbrook with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Lillard outside. Griffin against Love. And they turn it over. Stepped in the line that time. Man, I don't know what happened right there. He just basically walked out of bounds. And the East with some changes. Carmelo Anthony's checked in for love. Paul George comes in for LeBron. And it's John Wall in for Kyle Lowry. Some rugged defense there against one of the stronger finishers in the game. It's Westbrook with the trunk. Oh, look out. Look out. Oh, oh. That's one of the better jams you'll ever see right there. Yeah, you know, some guys come out the high flyers, some of the bigs, and they just say, hey, I'm going to throw it down with authority tonight. I love that attitude. Nothing wrong with it in my book. Now here's Jefferson. Shoots from the baseline. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Jefferson's got six. No shortage of drama here early on. Well, neither team can grasp control of this thing. I mean, both teams trying to get a hold of it. What do you think, Steve? Oh, yeah, eight lead changes already. I mean, that's a big number this early in the game. So we're in for a treat tonight. This is a competitive matchup. Griffin down low, covered by Anthony. Good. Griffin's got his first two points of the night. They've got to continue to put pressure on the defense by probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job, they are inside. It takes pressure off the perimeter guys. Now here's Wall looking for his first basket still in this one. And it's Wade penetrating from deep. George. Here's Jefferson. Drops in the layup for two. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves here. 156 left to play in the first quarter. Westbrook passes to Lillard. Now the dish to Griffin. Shoots a fader. That one wide left. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. Wall against Nowitzki. 
outside wall. Outside Jefferson. Lock at six. And that's collected by Nowitzki. And the West All-Stars with possession. They trail by one. Westbrook with the bucket. Like you talked about a back and forth game. This is the definition of yeah, that. Yeah, no doubt about it, Kevin. I mean, not even through the first half, and it's been one heck of a battle. Well, these are the kinds of games you love. I mean, two good teams going head to head, an even matchup, and both sides very competitive on their toes tonight. And the East All Stars call time here. Dirk Nowitzki with a goose egg in last year's All Star game, going 0 for 2 with only one rebound. He's really too good a player to let that happen two years in a row. Jimmy Butler, he's checked in for Dwayne Wayne. The West also making some changes. Durant's checked in for Griffin. Bledsoe comes in for Lillard. And it's Paul in for Russell Westbrook. Now here's Wall. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Puts up the baby hook. And there is Al Jefferson on the assist by Butler. And Nowitzki now in his 13th All-Star game. Wow, what a great career. You know, he hasn't put together that many big performances in All-Star games. Uh, in fact, the last three years, he's barely played. He's been looking more forward to the rest and allowing the young guys to play. But it seems like he just enjoys being part of this. And here's Wall. Following the three from Eric Lutz. Wall dishes to Anthony. Butler against Bledsoe. And Butler, here we go. Nice D from Durant. Now Bledsoe, eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's his first foul. What a great play to sacrifice his body and take the hit. Yeah, I thought that was excellent awareness and anticipation to beat him to the spot there. And it's the East All-Stars with the ball. Butler kicks to Jefferson. And Durant with the block. Pass to Hayward. Fires from the wing. And all of them win that time before dropping in. And now a four-point West All-Star lead. Now Wall. With nobody on him, he carries the jumper. Wall's got his first two points. And they have to mix it up defensively. That was just too easy. And the wide open shot from Paul. No good on the buzzer beater. The first quarter all wrapped up, and it's been an exciting game so far. West All Stars lead by two. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Coming up this Saturday. And we welcome you back to the NBA All-Star Game as we get set to begin the second quarter. And Kevin, already some highlight real play. Yeah, they're playing at a nice tempo right now, Clark, giving the fans a show. Well, you know, you always want your side to win, but I, I think it's pretty common that we, we don't see too many fouls in these games year to year. Steve, you're exactly right. I mean, I think we usually see a few here and there because guys are also reacting based on instinct, playing the game similar to how they know how to play basketball. But aside from that, you usually aren't going to see too many whistles. On the court right now as the second quarter starts for the West All-Stars. Duran is out there with Davis. Then it's Chris Paul. Then it's Isaiah Thomas. And it's Bledsoe in at the small forward. And here are the East All-Stars now, trailing by two. Well, one thing we're noticing here tonight, both teams pretty much taking care of the ball, which is impressive in a game like this. Yeah, it really is, Steve. I mean, typically in a game like this, the players and teams can be a little loose, but that hasn't been the case so far. Lowry with the block. The pass to Anthony. The kick out to LeBron. He dishes it to Love. Back to LeBron. That's good. James has got it all tied up now for the East All-Stars. Well, we've seen that before. I mean, these two teammates hooking up 
Uh, it's uh, they've got a lot of chemistry together, no question. They certainly do, and it's fun to watch. I mean, they uh, really know what each other is thinking. Paul goes in, tries again, and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. Chris Paul playing in his eighth All-Star game. He was the All-Star MVP two seasons back when he tallied 20 points on 10 shots to go along with 15 assists. That's efficient playing at the point guard spot. You put him alongside these other great players, and it's like a kid in a candy store. And Chris Paul averages over 12 assists in All-Star games. Well, just over 13 points per game. So you can tell, you know, his favorite thing to do in a game like this is to set the table and help create highlights for his teammates rather than for himself. That's the kind of player he is anyway. Kevin Love playing in his fourth All-Star game with the new format with three front court selections. He was a first-time starter last year around. No need to pick a true center. Now Bledsoe following the three-point attempt by Kevin Love. And the wide open shot from Bledsoe. Not enough on that one as it misses. Easy look there, but you know, he misses those once in a while. Butler attacking. And he misses the go-ahead basket. I was wondering if you think Kevin Love might be the best combination of rebounding, passing, shooting, and low post scoring in not only the NBA now, but let's go back some decades. Oh, in the man, it's always hard for me to talk in the in, in the framework of history. I mean, we sometimes become prisoners of the present when we evaluate players. Now, he's, he's unique. But you talk about the history of the league, there have been some great passing, scoring, rebounding, big gap. And so let's give him a little more time before we put him in the next half. Paul with the steal. And Davis, here we go. Rebound by the East All-Stars. Love's got rebound number five here tonight. Goes up the baseline. The West All-Stars pull it in. Here's Paul. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Chris Paul selected to his eighth All-Star game. He missed the 2010 game due to injury. Arguably the greatest point guard in the league. He's a fixture in this game. And Paul always a dangerous ball. Hunt. Never more so than in the All-Star game itself. Yeah, he averages over three steals a game in only uh, 27 minutes. So, you know, he's always lurking, trying to make the defensive play. They get the rebound. Nice rebound in traffic, and that's his job. Let's tell us outside. Goes back up. The shot's good from Paul. Paul's got five points now in the quarter. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. Love with the screen for Lowry. The kick out to Dang. That's in there. Love with the assist. Dang's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Durant with a screen on Lowry. Paul with the ball. Lowry picks him up. Here's Davis. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. You know, they've changed their game here in the second. Getting a little bit more physical, playing with some toughness now. And you know, this lead is going to grow if they can continue to get to the free throw line. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the West All-Stars. Oh, Kevin, in the first half of play, they're really closing out aggressively, blocking shots, a, a key indicator of their activity defensively. Another big aspect of their game tonight has been the fast break, transition opportunity. They're really keeping it up-tempo so far. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. Anthony Davis, an injury replacement in last year's All-Star game. And of course, he was played on his home court in New Orleans. And he played well in limited minutes, looking to make a bigger splash this time around. Now, here's Wade. Outside Williams. Just five on the clock. From the arc. Count that one. Williams has got his first three points of the game. 
And Anthony Davis this time back on his own merits. And he's certain to be a perennial all-star for years to come. His package is really high level from a skill standpoint. Some say he's already the third best player in the league. And at his age, boy, he's, his future is limited. Curry shot is off. Really good offensive execution. Nice pick. Just couldn't get the shot to go. Boy, you love to see that as a basketball purist. The guy setting a good screen and then getting the shot opportunity. LeBron James has been an all-star since his second season in the league. And this is his 11th straight all-star appearance. And he always gets after it. Goes hard even in the all-star game. Ties it up. And this next one could give them the lead. And LeBron, a two-time All-Star MVP. Well, and in the running last time around, too, Kevin, you think about the numbers, 22 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists, 3 steals. He loves playing in the All-Star game. You can tell. I mean, he looks to attack pretty much every time down. Now the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Here comes Russell Westbrook. Outside curl. Westbrook kicks to Davis. And the layup's good off the glass. Davis has got four points now in the quarter. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. No kidding. I mean, neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time, guys. Steve, so close. Well, such a seesaw affair back and forth. I mean, this has been an unbelievable game to watch. It's a close game here in New Orleans. Westbrook with it. Davis setting the pick for Westbrook. Out to the wing. Curry outside. Darren Williams grabs the miss. James against Westbrook. Dang passes to LeBron. He kicks it to Wade. And he gets it to go. And it's a three-point East All-Star lead. Boy, the drive to the bucket was nice, but how about the finger roll finish? Beautiful. Now Curry. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Griffin sets the screen for Curry. Outside Griffin. Back to Curry. There's the three. And that drops. And it comes off an assist from Griffin. Curry's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Timeout called East All-Stars. Well, Blake Griffin, a perennial All-Star. This is his fifth appearance, and he got off to a hot start last go-round with eight dunks in the first 11 minutes. Where's the defense? <laughs> Nowhere to be found, Clark. Nowhere to be found. And some changes here for the East. Jefferson's checked in for Love. Paul George comes in for James. And it's John Wall in for Darren Williams. The West All-Stars also with the sub. Gasol's checked in. Outside, George. Here's Wade. Misses off the right iron. Then Griffin finishing with 38 points last season. Just four shy of Will Chamberlain's record. Durant also with 38. And that's the most combined points ever by two All-Star teammates. And Griffin feasting at the rim is 19 field goals, the most in All-Star history. Yeah, he's always been efficient in the All-Star game, converting almost 80% of his, his attempts over his career. And that game lends itself to what he does. Run the floor and finish in high-flying fashion. First free throw is good. I think it was universally agreed upon that Steph Curry was a huge snub for the 2013 All-Star game. Well, that got corrected this past season as he finally made his first appearance. He was voted in as a starter for the West. Good on both. And that first appearance for Steph as a starter, you can't really argue that he didn't deserve it as he led the way for the Warriors all last year. Wade dishes to Jefferson. That one goes. Jefferson. Jefferson's got the game tied up here for the East All-Stars. 
Jefferson's gotten six of his ten shots to go in for him, so 60% shooting on the night. Westbrook kicks to Griffin. Pass to Kirk. Griffin attacking. Nice D from Dan. And I think had Chris Paul not missed a month going into February last season, he's starting that All-Star game. Yeah, but Curry's on his heels, Kevin. I mean, as CP3 gets just a fraction older, I think Curry does have the chance to become the consensus best point guard in the NBA. Time will tell. I don't know if it's just me, but he's looked a step slow since the start of the quarter. His shooting has really suffered. Kobe with the steal. Right side, Griffin. He feeds it to Curry. Outside, Kobe. 135 left in the first half of basketball. And he gets it to go. What a finish with that hoop. And here are the East All-Stars. Trailing by two. All with it. Westbrook picks him up. Feeds it to George. Lots of room. And he drops that one in. George has got his first points of the game. On some great passing on their last few trips now on the floor. Excellent. Yeah, that's four straight trips, guys, where their passes have ended up in scores. Four straight assists. Great team play. Now here's Westbrook. At the elbow, it's Gasol. Dishes it to Griffin. It's stolen by Dang. Here's Wall. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Yeah, the defender draped all over him. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. Wall. John Wall back for his second All-Star appearance. Last year, he helped lead the East to victory, and he also won the dunk contest, so quite a weekend for him. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. And Wall had to wait until his fourth season to make an All-Star game for the former number one pick a relief to finally be selected. Yeah, but that was more a function of him battling injuries and not shooting the ball that well that led to him. And it's not a bad thing sometimes to have to work to earn those all-star bursts. I mean, you appreciate them more when it doesn't come easy for you. Now here's Westbrook. Outside, Kobe. Back to Westbrook. For three, Griffin trying to get open. And Russell Westbrook with the three. Westbrook's got his third bucket of the night. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. Well, neck and neck, how about that? I mean, ferociously competitive. I mean, tight as me in an airplane bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> they get it again. Outside for George. Tipped away. George against Kurt. Tries to keep it alive. And it's the East with a rebound. Jefferson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Talk about putting something extra to him. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, Clark. You know, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Still, I mean, it's startling that he'd even try that right now. It's three outside. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. And a tight game here as we end the first half. The East All-Stars up on top. They're up by one. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. to the NBA All-Star Game. One half is in the books, and the second half about to begin. Yeah, and Kevin, often the second half is where you see that intensity turned up a bit. Well, yeah, the first half maybe a little more loose, and then the second half is where it can get more competitive once the game is on the line. Well, playing in the All-Star 
All-Star game, something to really be proud of. And of course, the starters are voted in by the fans, the reserves are voted in by the coaches. Either way, it's a heck of an honor. And the West All-Stars have possession. They've got Dwayne Wade, Al Jefferson out there with Kevin Love. Then there's Lowry. And it's James in at the three, the small forward. That's the five out there for the East All-Stars. It's Gasol missing. Stevie talking about the starters and the reserves, unlike in regular games. In an All-Star game, everyone gets a chance to play. Yeah, I, mean, I think the hardest part for the coaches, Kevin, is distributing those minutes because everybody is deserving. Everyone's a great player. And usually what happens is the starters uh, get the most minutes because uh, they, the coaches understand that that's the, what, what, who the fans have voted on there, and that's, uh, that's who they want to see. Durant, the pass to Curry. That's good, and a nice assist from Durant. Seven points for Steph Curry. The defense has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Boy, I'd like to know how many of their attempts have come from inside five feet. It, it seems like everything is right at the rim. One-on-one -on -one fast break. He lobs up the alley-oop pass and stolen by LeBron. Love outside. And it's Wade penetrating. Wayne Wade, an 11-time All-Star. You know, in last year's game, he was a little banged up. So even as a starter, he only played 11 minutes in the game. That was a career low. Uh, he was looking to rest up the knee and, and give other guys a chance to play. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Two shots. That's good from Wade. And Wade drops them both. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Now Curry. He has seven outside Kobe. And the layup falls. Bryant's got six. And Wade last year at the All-Star Game, 10 points on 5 of 6 shooting. No, that wasn't a big night for Wade in the All-Star Game, but back in 2010, he went for 24, 10 assists, and 10 rebounds. Oh, wow. And he's had a number of other big moments on big stages throughout his career, too. And that's going to be out of bounds. And they retain possession. He had no choice but to lunge for that pass to stop it from getting through. But well, that was a good job. It could have been a quick bucket if he doesn't knock it out of bounds there. Now, here is Lowry. Wade dishes to Love. There's the feed to Lowry. And they've been off target now on three of the first four shots they've taken in this second half. Curry's shot is off. Clark, they've shared the load offensively. Yeah, they've done a nice job with it, Kevin and Steve. I mean, everybody's touching the ball. There's a nice flow to what they're doing offensively. Well, it makes it so much tougher to defend, too, when you have to account for all five offensive players and the ball just moves so quickly. Tough to defend that. And here's the East. Lowry drives in. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. The first one falls. So the West ends up going with the new group. And so Lowry nails both of them. Can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? I mean, they've been perfect so far. Yeah, sometimes it's contagious. Everybody starts to get comfortable and relaxed, and everything goes in the hoop. Paul kicks to Nowitzki. Back to Paul for the lead. And James pulls it down. James has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Hammers the alley-oop through. Every All-Star game, you can count on it. You're going to see some heart-stopping plays. That was another one. Hayward against James. 
Hayward can hit. I like the work there, contesting that shot that looked like it was going to be easy, but they forced the miss. You know what? He got it in close, but couldn't finish in traffic. Beautiful job angling his body, shielding the big man from the ball on his way to the basket. That's really the only way to do it if you're going to take it down there amongst the tall trees. Here's Paul after the made shot from Dwayne Wade. Over to the wing, puts it up. Count that one in the East All-Stars lead has been cut down to just four points in the bucket from Hayward. Here comes Lowry. And the East All-Stars call time here. And as with any time out at this point of the game, important to go over the strategies that are working and those that are needed in terms of adjustments. And, of course, the opportunity, guys, to get hydrated with Gatorade before coming back out of the floor. We've seen some good action so far, and there's, there's more of it to come. Yeah, this game has been physical. It's been fast. It's been high-paced. So anytime you're in a situation like this where it's really a hard-fought game, critical to keep yourself hydrated throughout. That's good. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. There's basically no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Hey, Kevin. During that last break, I heard Frank Vogel addressing his team. He went over the offensive plan and that it hinges on running things through Jefferson. Coach said the first thing they should be thinking about is getting the ball in his hands and letting him lead the way on each and every possession. Those are likely not the last adjustments they make today, guys. There's still time left in this one. Back to you, Kevin. Always great to hear from you, Doris. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the East All-Stars. Man, they keep piling up the assists, guys. Great ball movement. They've really been on fire from beyond the arc tonight, too. I mean, a lot of their points have come from out there. Even with the one miss, he's still stretched into a two-possession game. That's big for them right now. Three-pointer, Lillard. Good on the shot. Lillard's got his second bucket of the night. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap up since the start of the second half. They're starting to find the range. Steve, the lasers are starting to do their thing. That's going to be the ticket for them the rest of the way. Now, here is Lowry. He has seven. Back to Jefferson. Passes to Wade. No one near James as he lets it go. A three-pointer off the mark. And he continues to search for his rhythm. It's eluded him to this point. Now, here's Wade. Kicks to Lowry. He's looking for love and finds him. And the dunk to finish it off. A ah, beauty. Stupendous rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D, and I can't help but say that. Well, let's see how that impacts things here because those kinds of plays sometimes can be game changers on both sides. He got right to the cup using that screen. And that's now seven points for Damian Lillard. Lowry drives in. Over in the corner, Paul. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Seven points for Chris Paul. You're going to be waiting a long time if you're waiting for him to miss that when he's that open. There's the dish to Jefferson. Puts it up from seven. That one rolling around and rims out. And here's the West with the ball for the lead. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. The West All-Stars have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Lillard has been playing really well. He has eight points and one rejection in this game, too. And it was a good one, too. Really one of the highlights, I thought, of the game defensively. Catching up on the changes for the East. Anthony's checked in for Jefferson. Paul George comes in for LeBron. Butler, he's checked in for Dwayne Wade. And Irving subbed in for Kyle Lowry. Kyrie Irving grew up right across the Hudson over in New Jersey. Plenty of friends and family in attendance. I'm sure he'll be as motivated as ever to put on a show. Novitski, good! The D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been of the three-point variety. Yeah, and unless they make some rotations and closeouts defensively, there's more to come, Clark. And here's Irving. Dirk Novitski getting his three to go. Love wide open. He fires! No good off the back of the rim. 
Three-pointer, Lillard. Rebound by Butler. Boy, he's got a nice-looking stroke. That almost went in. Yeah, a lot of times, he'll hit that shot regardless of the defense. And it ends up out of bounds, and they'll keep possession. Here's Irving. This one for three. Griffin grabs the board. Well, if this game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. Yeah, they've been really strong in the paint, battling the glass. Now, here is George, following the shot by Chris Paul. And that one's good, Anthony. One forty-nine left to play in the third. It's Nowitzki, top of the key. Over in the corner, Lillard. Lillard again missing. And here are the East All-Stars now. They trail by one. Irving's shot is good. I'm Clark and Steve as we approach the fourth quarter. Still anyone's ballgame. Yeah, exactly right, Kevin. I mean, these teams just simply keep trading baskets and as we result, trading the lead. Yeah, neither side really able to create much of a cushion at all. So well, which team can make a little run here? We'll see. Lillard, the pass to Hayward. Fires the three. No good. The East All-Stars go the other way with it. Outside, Anthony. Pass to Love. That one falls coming up Anthony's feet. Now it's a four-point East All-Star lead. Now Paul, seven points in the game. The pass to Griffin. Back to Paul. Inside and stolen by Kyrie Irving. Love with the screen on Lillard. Irving. That is good. Irving's got his third basket of the night right there. They're taking so many shots down there, and they're knocking him down. Really good looks in the paint. No doubt the offensive philosophy today. Pound that thing inside. Oh, a beautiful play there. That's some serious all-star action. And that's what you come to see, that kind of play. Not loose. And the ball ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Love against Nowitzki. Love dishes to Carmelo. Nailed from three-point land. Anthony's got the lead up to seven now for the East All-Star. Now here's Durant. Nowitzki sets a screen for Durant. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. The East All-Stars up on top. They finish off the third quarter on a 14-5 run. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. This Saturday... February 21st, the Phoenix Suns go on the road to battle the Chicago Bulls. Live from United Center, it's the real deal. We've been having a great time here. We hope you have been too. The All-Star Game coverage continues. Thanks again for tuning in here to 2K Sports. Both teams put it on the show. Boy, it sure has been fun to watch, hasn't it? Now the East All-Stars with it. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. On the court for the West All-Stars, getting the fourth quarter going. Damian Lillard out there with Steph Curry. Then it's Anthony Davis, and there's Bryant, and it's Durant in at the four slot. It's Kobe Bryant on the wing. Out to the right wing. On its way from Curry for two, and the shot falls short this time. And it's the East All-Stars with the ball. Played with it, and Curry picks him up defensively. And he lobs it up towards the rim, and the touch by LeBron. And the lead just grows on that ridiculous offensive sequence. No, Clark, that dunk along would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Yeah, that just added more to it. Yeah, what a beautiful connection on that play. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. 
And George kicks to LeBron. Left side Jefferson. From 15 feet away, that ball's nice speed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got assist number eight here in this one already. Lillard attacking. Wow, oh, 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 that oh, athletic oh, play. Oh, Incredible. Wow. You know, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult while they're trailing. Yeah, but still, you know what? A magnificent move to the rim. Agreed. Guys, I, I, look, I don't know what the score is. That's the play we're all going to remember from this game. James with it, picked up by Davis. George passes to Lowry. Six on the shot clock. Right side Jefferson. Buries it down low. Kyle Lowry with a beautiful setup. And the West All-Stars have possession. 11-point game. Curry dishes to Lillard. Back to Curry. He kicks it to Lillard. Shot clock at five. The West All-Stars need to get a shot off here. The shot by Curry, no good. He's killing them with his poor shooting. But he's just more than willing to give him those shots now. You know, regardless of who starts the break, it seems like he's usually the one to finish it. And that's because of how well he attacks the rim on the dead run. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Durant with a screen on George. Lillard attacking. No one near Curry as he lets it go. Misses off the left iron. Davis kicks to Curry. He dishes it to Lillard. Davis setting the pick for Lillard. He logs up the alley -oop pass, and that's going to be out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Russell Westbrook's checked in for the West. We're in the final quarter of play here, three minutes in. Maybe that'll ignite him. I mean, impossible not to get pumped up after that. At least I think that would be the case. Well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are. Look at them. They are pumped up. Yeah, they're geek. That's what those alley-oops do, though. Lowry drives in. Pass to Jefferson. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Jefferson's got the lead up to 13 now for the East All-Stars. And here we go with Damian Lillard. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Lillard's got 15 points here in the second half. Lowry with the ball. He feeds it to Jefferson. Lowry passes to George. Here's Jefferson. Solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. Jefferson's got eight here in the quarter. Great teamwork out there, really helping each other out. They're playing as one. I mean, they're like a symphony. Everybody in harmony and in beat and in rhythm. Five straight baskets now have resulted because of the six. And the basket by Lillard. You know, the defense didn't exactly try to fight around that screen, and that's why it turned into the easy basket. The drive by Lowry. Here's LeBron, rejected by Bryant. And now the fast break. Westbrook with the ball. The second chance effort. And the layup is up and in. Westbrook's got to back down to single digits for the West All-Stars. That's kind of his strong suit. The ability to find his way through the defense and finish at the rim. Jefferson, a screen on Lillard. Wade dishes to Jefferson. Tries again, and it's good on the layup. Jefferson's got 22. I don't think they can ask much more of him than what he's done this quarter. Here's Westbrook. It's a mammoth dunk for someone who's far from the biggest guy out there on the floor. Yeah, perhaps that'll give them the boost they're looking for to get out of the hole here. Yeah, it should. I mean, if that doesn't fire them up, I don't know what will. And George. Oh! oh what a play! Oh, look at that. That is a... Bring him down the house! Woo-hoo! That was absurd. He's showing the skills that got him voted here. 
Now Lillard. Davis sets a screen. And Lillard kicks to Davis. And it's Lowry with the rebound. And it's the East All-Stars with the ball. Here's Jefferson, and Davis sends it back. Here's Durant. Right now! Oh, 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 man! Plenty of big boy finishes at the rim. Well, you combine the talent level and the lax defense, you're going to see some big-time dunks. Now here is Lowry, Wade outside. Jefferson setting the pick for Wade. Feeds it to Jefferson. We watched Jefferson play great basketball. 22 points, and he's added a steal to his stat line also. Now, now that's obviously not a big number, but Two he's shots. been doing some valuable defensive work for him. And free throw good from Jefferson. The East making a switch. Love's checked in. And he makes the first, but misses the second. On offense, here are the West All-Stars. Trailing by 10. Another shot. And Lillard with the lay-in. Lillard's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. Boy, has he picked it up in the second half. He's on fire. Wade passes to Jefferson. Stolen by Westbrook. And the foul called by Russell Westbrook. That'll be his second foul of the game. Well, I love it. He gets there first, absorbs the contact. Nice play defensively. No fluff there. He took that one right in the chest. And it's the East All-Stars with the ball. They're leading by eight. And it's Lowry penetrating. And the basket good. Well, they haven't got much production from him, but they remain in the lead. Here's Kobe. Here is Lillard. Vicious to Durant. Fires the three. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Lillard. Lillard's got his fourth assist in this one. I'll tell you what, he's enjoyed a very good day shooting the ball so far. He can bring them right back into this. Got a piece of it. That's good. 14 points for Kevin Love. 153 left in the fourth quarter. Lillard dishes to Westbrook. Outside Lowry. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Damian Lillard. That is his first foul of the game. Lowry against Lillard. James kicks to Wade. A shot by Lowry. Wide open. Off target from outside. Boy, but he was close, Kevin, to making the defense pay for lackadaisical coverage there. Yeah, he had a really good look. I mean, he'll knock that down more often than not. The feed to Jefferson. The jump hook. Davis with the block. Durant, the pass to Lillard. And then Durant with the jam. His eyes just simply light up when he gets that close to the bucket. And you just know what he's going to do with the basketball. Wade dishes to Love. Knocks it loose and will go the other way. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for Anthony Davis. A shot by Lillard, wide open. Misses the three. Clark, they're in good position here to ride it out. Yeah, they certainly are. I mean, if they just play smart right here, Kevin, this game's pretty much over. Well, a good game tonight from D-Wade. He's got 13 points and a huge helping of assists as well. Now, he's a maestro, Clark. I mean, the conductor of this offense putting on a fantastic performance. And that's exactly how you close a game out. Those free throws will bury him for sure. And here's Westbrook from the arc, and that one's good. A wide open three. They need much better communication defensively. Wallace with it, and they go to the intentional foul. And that hurt 
works as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Now a timeout called by the West All-Stars. They're behind by six. 29 seconds left in the game. The West All-Stars making a switch here. Curry's checked in. And the West All-Stars have possession. Durant wide open. He fires off target with his three. And here's the fast break. LeBron leading the way. And that one's good. That gives him the double-double. 11 points and 10 assists. It makes it so easy for your teammate when you can lead him with a pass like that one. No one near Curry as he lets it go from outside off the mark. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Yeah, with the game out of reach, intentional fouls don't mean anything. It's just an exercise in futility. Let the clock run. I agree with you, Carson. It just doesn't really compute at this point. And both free throws. Good for James. Now a timeout called by the West All-Stars. They're trailing by 10. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And here is Carter Williams. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And due to the bonus, we will head to the line for two. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. He hits the second from the line. He would have liked them all to go, but that should still be enough to end this thing. From deep. No good. So it's the East All-Stars winning this one easily. And Kevin, such amazing talent in the Eastern Conference this year. I had a feeling we might see them beat the West. And for me, it's always great to watch the best talent in the world go head-to-head, -head, no matter who wins. Well said, Clark, well said. And with that, we thank you for being with us. For Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr, this is Kevin Harlan saying we'll see you next time. <laughs>